Hi everyone, welcome to episode 11 of our Let's Play Eco Lifestyle with Susie Dubois. So in the last part we managed quite a bit. We managed to get promoted again and we are so so close to getting promoted again to the top of our career. In the last part I actually asked you guys to comment down below in the comments who you think Susie should be with. We celebrated Winterfest, we celebrated New Year's Eve and we found out that Chase has ulterior motives with our best friend Tina, our best friend. They are apparently an item and we didn't even know about it. It was right under our noses. So I asked you guys, Susie met Matthias, a man who appeared at the community lots when we visited there and Susie and Matthias seem to get on very very well so I asked you guys do you think we should ditch Chase and get with Matthias or do you think we should stick things out with Chase and all of you guys said go with Matthias, ditch Chase so that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, so in this part we are going to try and get promoted as I have been saying in a lot of the last parts I've been saying that the next couple of episodes are going to be a lot more fun so that's what we're going to do. So so we've just celebrated New Year's Eve, everyone's pretty much gone home. We are actually really tired. So I'm gonna get, this is Matthias here by the way, if you missed the last part. He's quite good looking. So I'm gonna get Susie to go to bed and I will meet up with you guys in the morning. So I'll meet you all in the morning and we can catch up then. Okay, so Susie has woken up. She's just having something to eat uh, for her breakfast. Chase is talking about wedding bells, but we're not, we're not with it, are we? No, Chase. You can go get married to Tino. You're not getting married to us. But today is the day, ladies and gents. We are going to get rid of him. We're going to say goodbye, see you later, to Chase. Because he has treated us not very nicely. We do have to get to Charisma level 7. So we'll do that with Chase while he's here. And then we'll ditch him. We'll, we won't do it in a horrible way. I think we'll just say, like, I think we just need to be friends. Like... It's not working out, um, you know, I don't want to be in the way of you and Tina. It's just getting too much. And I think that's the kind of thing that Susie would say. And that's that. That's that really. Um, they're just good friends. And I think that's how the relationship should have ended. I don't think it should have ended in a big fight. I don't think Susie's like that. But I do think that Chase should move out. I don't think that Chase should be here anymore. I'm going to move him out of the house. I'll move him somewhere nice. I'll move him into one of the apartments in in Evergreen Harbour. And I'll meet you in a few minutes and we can talk about what's happened. Okay, so I have just moved Chase into one of the Stone Street apartments which is in the quarry section of Evergreen Harbour. I don't think he deserved the whole 20 grand because let's face it I've been paying the bills, I've been working hard and I'm the main money maker <laughs> in the relationship so I give him 10 grand and that's enough. So we are on our way to get promoted tomorrow which is just fantastic. Now what we also need to do is we do need to get our money up because you guys are currently building us a house in the next few days. So we do need to make some money. What I thought we could do is we could make some candles today. Let's buy a few dyes. Why can we not make a candle? Oh, we've got to get more bits and pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually dye for some deals. See if we can get anything worth recycling. So I'm going to dye for some deals over here. I will tell you what we get. Okay, so we did manage to get a few things in the dumpsters just now. I was just reminded from this from this emotion that she's having because I just remembered that we got a phone call and in order to get some money we have to marry someone within the next like was seven days but that was yesterday so it's now six days. Our only kind of hope at the moment is Matthias. Well we need to get 100k together basically in the next few days. I don't like Tina at the moment but I will invite her in if she wants to fix my broken stuff because let's face it she's probably the one that broke it in the first place because she's here all the flipping time. So we'll invite her in she can fix all my broken stuff and that'll be great. <laughs> So let me do that. I would like to do a bit of juice fizzing in the next couple of episodes as well. So I got some grapes in the fruit packets that I bought just now. So I'm going to plant those. I'm going to tell her to leave because I don't think she deserves to be here. Bye. Oh yes, I've got to I've got to get bits and pieces. That's to remind me. So let's recycle some things. Okay, so hopefully we will get promoted tomorrow. So in order to get promoted tomorrow, we need we need our needs to be perfect. So I'm going to get her to get some food, head to bed, and I hopefully meet you when she has been promoted. <laughs> Guys. We've just been promoted. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have just been promoted to City Master Planner. We are now champion of the people. I'm so chuffed that we managed to do it in, I think, quite a short amount of time. But we, we did it. We did it, guys. We can finally move on to something different. And I think that that something different will be joining the freelancer career. Because I think Susie just wants to calm down. I think she's had a really tough time trying to get to the top of her career. She just wants a bit of downtime, to be honest. There's been too much drama. Let me get our needs up again. It'll all be beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just getting Susie to have a little nap here and voting is now closed. So clean energy production received the most votes. So I voted for this one because we have the recycler and we have some solar panels. That means that we get some more influence points for having these products, which is... But I thought that we could possibly invite Mateus round. No. <laughs> We do, we do need to marry for money. I really hate how Tina just walks in. Like, is is there a way of stopping that? But anyway, we're going to invite Mateus round. We'll see what's happening with him. So we're not actually too flirty with Mateus just now. We're just kind of friends at the moment. He didn't like that at all. Um, but that's probably because we're on like zero <laughs> romance. But meet up with me in a little bit and we'll see if anything's changed. Oh my God. Did you guys just see that? Matthias is an alien. Maybe this was his plan all along. You know, we got abducted by aliens quite a few episodes ago. Do you think it was him? I honestly don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do. I mean, it's not a bad thing being an alien. I'm gonna sleep on it. I'm gonna let her go to work today and I'll have a think while she's at work about what we should do. We just can't cut a break, can we? Okay, so Susie is back from work. She got 4,000 uh, Simone is just by going to work so I just thought I'd do it because we didn't really get a chance to to change anything yesterday still a little bit shocked by our revelation Tyson has come round and he's saying that he's got a gift for me I mean I thought we nipped that in the bud but I'll invite him in got a hydroponic planter nice we can definitely put that in our garden i'm going to make susie quit her job and she's going to change jobs into the freelance career i'm going to do some recycling i'll meet back up with you in a few minutes and i will tell you what i've done okay so we just got this call from mateus and he says so this is going to sound crazy i know we're friends and all but well okay here it goes i have a crush on you phew okay it's out there um so would you want to go out with me sometime you're super cool i really want to hang out with you more <sighs> i'm still kind of reeling over the revelation that he is an alien because susie doesn't particularly like aliens they they weren't very nice to her when she got abducted so i think we're just gonna ghost him we, we don't have a job at the moment so we're not working tomorrow which is kind of good and i'll meet back up with you in the morning and we can spend a bit of time to ourselves okay so while susie is eating i've been kind of thinking about this whole alien thing with Mateus. looking back on the episodes that we had a few days ago where susie got abducted by aliens i think that kind of thing in her life would scar her she didn't come back from it particularly happy about the situation i've consulted some of my friends about it as well and they said follow your heart so that's what i'm gonna do i don't think mateus is the one i don't think chase is the one either i don't think tina's the one but we need to marry for this inheritance money so we need to find someone in two days we need to find someone to love someone to love us so i'm maybe gonna make some more candles we can head over to the marketplace maybe sell a few candles and you never know who we might meet so let me make a candle head over to the marketplace and i'll meet you all there okay so we are at the marketplace currently and i'm going to get susie to sell some of her candles i was going to get susie to sell some candles but everyone seems to have stolen the tables <laughs> so i can't use any of these tables which is super annoying do i have to buy my own table she hasn't made too many connections with other people which is a bit sad there are quite a few people here i'll just hang here for a bit and i'll let you know if anything happens uh morgan showed up the hot mailman unfortunately he is unflirty and non-committal i was thinking of daryl who we met first of all he's also an alien i don't know it just seems like a lot of these people are aliens i'll see if i can chat to anyone else okay so susie 
is woken up and we are going to head into the freelancer crafter career so that's what i'm doing just now so we can select an agency so i'm guessing we want to be in simply crafted okay so we can select a gig so we can do they forgot something uh light at the end of the tunnel hip to be rectangular <laughs> let's go for something easy first so we've got to chat with the client uh -huh. and we've got to create a cylindrical candle on the candle making station so we've got to make three of them so i'll quickly just repair this and i will do those tasks let's see so freelancer chat with clients okay so seeing as the gig for the freelance career is due on monday i thought we could spend the rest of the day kind of chilling and okay guys so we've really struggled today we have tried to complete the gig for our first freelancer career gig. So we have chatted with the client and we made a couple of candles as well. But we are currently at the marketplace and to be honest, I mean, all the regular suspects are here. But I also don't want to rush Susie into a relationship just because I don't want her to do that. I wanted to meet someone that is right for her. Our number one is Susie. Uh, all of our actions, all of our decisions have to be for her. They can't be for anyone else right but yeah well we'll just we'll see what happens and I'm not too I'm not too fussed about rushing it in any way but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her to go home get her needs up and I'll meet you on the morning I know it has been quite an unsuccessful day but that's what we'll do okay so we are getting Susie to go for a jog well I mean what a beautiful world to run in right <laughs> and I think today we will focus on maybe just meeting some new people we'll get her to focus on herself a little bit and if we meet anyone along the way then that is a bonus of course so she's just finished her run I'm gonna get her to finish one more candle and then we can maybe head out and meet some meet some people okay so we managed to complete our first gig for the freelance crafter so we are one step further to completing the aspiration for the master maker so that's good but i thought we could also today try and repeal one of the NAPs because we're not in the tech career anymore we could maybe try and get rid of that because it only influences freelance programmers and we're not a freelance programmer and we're also not a civil designer anymore we are a freelance crafter so I thought we could take away the tech support because it doesn't benefit us we only want ones that benefit us so let me head around the neighborhood meet some people and we can maybe try and get those signatures up a little bit so jeb is in the neighborhood uh the guy with the bag on his head and as i said jeb looks like shrek in shrek 2 when shrek turns into a human and that's my kind of thing i mean i think shrek's i think shrek is cool he's scottish which is ideal and um, <laughs> No, I don't think Jeb's Scottish, but he's a real kind of yeah, eco-friendly yeah, kind of guy, which we like. He is now a young adult. He used to be a teen, so he is a bit younger than us. I mean, who's counting? I'm not counting. Susie has not had her birthday yet. Now, he's a glutton. Let's see anything else about him. We actually got to know Jeb very well, and we've been flirting a little bit, and things are going well. He actually has some okay traits, like they're not out of this world, and I don't think he's an alien either, which is fantastic, because that alien moment scarred Susie for life. I think things could possibly happen with Jeb, who knows? I mean, I'm not trying to force anything with Susie. I don't want her to just marry for the sake of it. I want her to marry someone that she really gets on with and someone that she really likes. And Jeb seems to be kind of the outcast of his family. He wears this bag on his head all the time. And I think Susie sees past the bag, you know? She sees past the bag and she sees actually a beautiful human being. He walks around barefoot. I mean, if that's not eco-warrior, I don't know what is, if you ask me. But anyway, I think they are actually a really nice couple. He's what gone away now. Um, but I think they are actually a really nice couple and we'll see if things progress with them. I think what I'll do is i'm gonna actually leave here but we did have a few surprises that i wasn't particularly expecting we do also have to move into this new house with susie because you guys are currently building us a brand new house to live in we don't have the funds 
as of yet. We still need 22,000 simoleons from somewhere. And for also, for some reason, the marketplace doesn't seem to work. Whenever I try to view the inventory of any of the stock tables, it won't allow me to put any of my candles on there. So if anyone can tell me why that's, why that's happening or what I need to do in order to change that, please let me know because I'm really confused as to why that is happening because there shouldn't be any reason why it's, it, why it's not working. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's been a little bit shorter than usual but there was a lot of things as I said that I wasn't expecting but next time we'll be more prepared trust me I am very very busy over the next couple of days I'll see you when I see you basically <laughs> but uh, I hope you're all having a great day I will see you all in the next video please leave a like comment down below if you enjoyed it and also comment on anything that I've said if you can help me with the marketplace thing and also your comments on the whole relationship situation. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next part. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.